Give it up for Shanti Morostico. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. I forgot this was tonight. <laughs> Uh, no, I, 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 no, I'm joking. I didn't forget this was tonight because I got nominated for a fucking Juno! <laughs> yeah, thanks! That's not my mom. <laughs> I, I, I hate to start off on a cheesy note, but I, I couldn't be here. I would be such a nervous wreck if I didn't have my partner. My boyfriend's here with me this weekend. He's right there. Just give him a round of applause. He's such an amazing man. Give him a wave! There, there he is. Keep looking. He's so shy. Harry, keep looking. <laughs> to the depths of your imagination. Was that fun? <laughs> My boyfriend died in a pantsuit fire when I was born this gay. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cute. We were all straight for a minute. We all had rights. We were like, what? <laughs> that was really funny to watch all of you. You were like, boyfriend? <laughs> That's a weird name for a girl. <laughs> Honestly, what would be going on, like, what's going on with my look if I'm not a homo? <laughs> did, did you think of that? Like, I have a rat tail and every shirt I own looks like it owns a used car lot, but you were like, yeah, they're straight. <laughs> like, either, either I'm gay or like, what's going on here? I look like a, I either, I feel like I look like a drunk dad trying to find his kids at a music festival. <laughs> Jaden, you know? <laughs> I'm either gay or I'm like Guy Fieri, the college years. <laughs> <laughs> that was too real, hey? Eh? I'm either gay or I'm like uh, Justin Bieber's twin aunt. <laughs> it's so funny, like grown men will be like, hey, are you Justin Bieber? And I'm like, thank you, he's so thin, what? Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I also get mistaken for Miley Cyrus sometimes when people are really drunk, I guess. I like, they're like, hey, are you Miley Cyrus? I'm like, yeah, it's me, 200 pound Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay, like 196, but I have like 40 tampons in. No. <laughs> Thank you. Well, like, on what planet do I look like Miley Cyrus? Like, I would wreck that ball. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's just me, Miley Cyrus, stealing mayonnaise from a Dollarama. <laughs> I'm so wild. <laughs> I'm obviously really proud to be gay because I can't stop talking about it, but I'm not only proud to be a queer person, I'm also proud to be a trans person. Um, oh my God, <laughs> London, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. There's like seven people that, we well, don't know what that is. Um, are you a bus? What's happening? Um, yeah, I'm a transit system. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm the first out trans person to be nominated for comedy album of the year. It's a huge deal for me. Thank you. <laughs> I, um, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I, it, I, I hope that like one day, I'm not medically transitioned yet, obviously. I hope one day that like men understand me better. Uh, like at the back of the room, I'm a really handsome man. You get to the middle of the crowd, you know, you uh, see my face and you hear my voice and you're like, what a, what a pretty boy. <laughs> you get a little bit closer and you're like, where are your boobs? What's going on? <laughs> like men don't know how to react to me right now and I hope that changes one day. Like right now, men in the street will be like, excuse me, sir, sweetie, I'm so sorry you're a woman. <laughs> Me too, take my breasts. <laughs> Love them on you, hate them on me, but. <laughs> I also know I'm uh, not a woman because I just never got it. I was pretending to be a woman my entire life. And I can say like, I know that I'm not a woman because when women drink together, when you drink together, what, what's going on? <laughs> women will be like, okay, so we're meeting at Amber's house at like 6.30 to pregame, so like meet you there. I'm like, okay, 6.30, we're pregaming at 6.30. You lick the side of a Mike's Hard Lemonade and you're literally dead. Where are we going, a funeral home? Are we getting there in a hearse? What are we gonna do the next five hours? But pre-gaming for women just means getting ready. So you go to their house and it's just 40 women in a bathroom competing for the mirror like, 
Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and the pockets full of grown. And all the seen and fiend again the fiend. Cause then I'm like, I put my t-shirt on, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and then I seen a fiend again the fiend. Cause then like seven layers of mascara, we walk in the club on your eyelids, let's go already. And then you get to the club, do you go to there to lose each other or find each other? I'm asking. Cause as soon as women go to the club, you're like, where's Tiffany? I'm like, you're all named Tiffany. Was she wearing a hat? You... <laughs> but then it's like, when you drink with men, they're like, oh, he passed out. Take his phone. He doesn't deserve an Uber. And they'll kick you into a ditch. When you drink with women, they're like, not one of us rides away. Like, it's, that's the whole night. It becomes this, like, cute, slutty, where's Waldo? And they're like, let's get her. <laughs> From the bar. They find one Tiffany, lose another. <laughs> but you're getting wasted the whole time. You're like, I looked under the bottom of every shot glass and she wasn't there. <laughs> In the bathroom, like, Tiffany, Tiff, Tiff. He doesn't deserve you, Cheryl. Like, that's not a place to meet friends. But <laughs> it's the whole night until it's like 40 women corralled around a hot dog cart. Like, you're the beating heart of this hot dog cart. <laughs> all chugging back hot dogs like you haven't eaten in a month. And you're just like, but something and you still looking for your friend, you're like writing an SOS and catch up, just like, Tiffany! And then one of them will get a text and be like, one sec, I'm so sorry, you guys. You guys are gonna be so mad at me. You guys, it turns out I've been Tiffany this whole time. I'm Shanti Morastica. Thanks so much, Let the Music Off. <laughs>